Hi there, this is Duncan. We're going to have a quick look at using Reaper for recording MIDI as part of Outcome 1.2. Here I have a new Reaper project. If you haven't got this, then you need to boot up Reaper and go to File and New Project. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new track. You can do this by clicking on the Track menu and clicking Insert a New Track, or as you can see, the shortcut menu, Command T, or in Windows it would probably be Control T. As much as possible, you need to learn the shortcuts because that is the only way to work in digital audio workstations or sequences. It'll be too slow if, if you have to use the menus all the time. Uh, I've actually got one other way I'm going to show you to create a track though. The one which I prefer is just double clicking in this area here. And it creates us a new track. Now, in Reaper, when you create a new track, you then have to specify what kind of track you want it to be. And this is done in this area here, which is configuring what is the input for this track. At the moment, this track is defaulted to be an, an audio track and has an input of XLR1, which is the microphone input for my computer. I'm going to change this input to be a MIDI input. Now, if you had a, a MIDI keyboard plugged into your computer, this would show up here. I haven't got one at the moment because I want to use a virtual MIDI keyboard so you can see everything that I'm doing on screen. So the virtual MIDI keyboard is going to be my input. Now I'm going to want to arm this track so I can record to it, and this is with this little record button on the track there, and this is the same thing for audio tracks as well. And I'm also going to want to monitor my recording as well, which means I can hear it. Just pop that back where it needs to be. Now this virtual MIDI keyboard can be found in the view menu, down at the bottom here, virtual MIDI keyboard, on the Mac it's option B, or on the Windows it would be alt B to open it. You may have seen something similar inside Sibelius or GarageBand or Logic if you use those. This one's quite clever though because it's spread over two octaves. And I'll show you some other tricks with it in a moment too. Now we're not hearing anything at the moment when I click on it with my mouse or type on my keyboard with it because we haven't assigned our MIDI data that we're inputting to any MIDI instrument yet. This can be found in this effects button here or effects tab. Now, you'll see along the left hand side here in Reaper all of the types of plugins that are available to you. Click on the instrument submenu and you'll see all the instruments available to you on your computer. Now, there are many, many VST instruments available for free on the internet, which is superb. So you can search them by doing a Google search or look in the workbook and I'll provide you some web links. I'm going to choose a basic Reaper synth for now. Close it down and I've got sound. Now the good thing about this virtual MIDI keyboard is you can right click what you want the home note to be or the tonic note. At the moment G is on Z for me. But I can right click on C and now C is in the C major scale. And I can also change the octave by using my arrows on the computer keyboard. I'm going to keep it at G for now. Because I'm about to record something in A minor, and it's simplest if I try and treat it as A Dorian minor. That's what I'm going to try and record. So before I start recording, I need to enable our metronome so I have something to play along with to keep me in time. I want to ch probably check a couple of my settings on it by right clicking it and making sure that I have a counter before the recording of two bars or two measures. While I'm here, I'm going to take off run metronome during playback because I don't need that to be playing when I'm just listening back to it. Now I'm ready to record by clicking on my record button down here. After I push my record button though, I do need to select my virtual MIDI keyboard again so that um, it, will, it will actually hear anything. Spacebar to stop. I'm going to save these. Don't worry about this other vocal track which is showed up there at the moment. That's just my vocals I'm recording in the background so you can hear me talking. And there's our MIDI. We can have a listen back to it. Push W to move my cursor back to the beginning.
Now I encourage you to look through the preset menu on your computer and see if you've got a whole lot of presets to create different sounds. Try and change it to another instrument and have a lot of fun with it. That was recording MIDI in Reaper. I hope you got something useful out of this. Thanks very much.